hands are small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like I found my purpose. Um. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Shauna Ray, Cooking and Cleaning Motivation for Busy Moms. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys two days worth of a cleaning motivation. I am an extremely busy mom and I work from home currently. So most of my cleaning is getting done during like my lunch break or my breaks from work. Um, and so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys two days worth of that cleaning. We're gonna clean out my kitchen, my bedroom, my bathroom, just all those areas of my house that tend to get neglected. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I have laundry that needs to get done, like I do today, huge piles of it, I always try to get that done first thing in the morning. It's just easier to get it started. Plus, I don't like one running the washer and dryer at night when my kids asleep because they're literally right next door to his room and they start have started keeping him up at night. So I always run it first thing in the morning so that all my laundry can be done by the time he gets home from school. So I'm just getting that all thrown in the washer right now. And then I'm gonna get started. I have been using the Gain products lately. So these are the Gain scent beads, which I really love. I think they're in like the island scent or whatever. And I'm using this detergent in the same scent, which I really, really like. And then I'm also going to throw in some of this Clorox laundry sanitizer. I've been using this a lot lately and I really, really like it and enjoy it. It smells really good and it just makes me feel like my clothes are getting a little cleaner. Do any of you guys use a laundry sanitizer? And if you do, do you use the Clorox brand or the Lysol brand? Let me know down in the comments below. So when I'm loading the dishwasher, I actually have a specific way I like to load it and it stems from how my mom loaded it when I was a kid. Um, but I get very frustrated when my husband doesn't load it correctly. And so I usually end up unloading it and reloading it after him because I just feel like my way makes a whole lot more things fit than his way does. Does anyone else have like a specific way you load your dishwasher? And if so, how is it? I always put Tupperware and cups on top. So like all my kids cups and all my Tupperware and everything are going on top and then plates and bowls go on the bottom. As you can see here, I also, I didn't have enough, quite enough room for the lid. So I'm, I'm gonna put the lids on the bottom with the plates. I do do that occasionally. It just kind of depends on how my dishwasher is working out, but I like to put it all on top. Beyond gravel, beyond Lately for my multi-purpose spray, I've been using this Home and Planet and this is the coconut and mimosa or something one. It's the coconut one. And I absolutely love this one. I think so far this is my favorite of the Home and Planet um, multi-purpose sprays. But if you haven't tried the multi, the Home and Planet multi-purpose sprays, you definitely should. I think they're way better than like the Mrs. Myers or even the Method ones. Um, and they're huge. It's a huge bottle and it's only $3.99 at Target. So you should definitely run and go grab you some. 
And then I'm also gonna be showing you this Zaz Zarbi's cough syrup that I have for my toddler right now. We've been using this a lot because my toddler gets coughs quite often and he can't sleep through them, so we've been giving him this at night. And I love this because it's basically just honey and elderberry, so there's not any actual like medicine in it. Um, it's just like an all natural kind of help to help him stop coughing and it really, really helps a lot. Now moving over to my stove here, I just recently replaced all my like drip pans underneath my electric coils with these black porcelain ones. And y'all, it was the best decision ever. They are so much better than like the silver ones. They don't get those like burn marks on them like the silver ones do. And they just stay clean and fresh so much better. I love it. City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one stopping me now it is the next day and we're gonna be tackling my master bathroom. I don't know why, but this place just gets so messy. We just tend to leave things out on the counters and it's just, it's one of the last places I clean because nobody ever goes in here besides my husband and myself. So I just never seem to clean this area, but it really needed a good just scrub and wipe down and just put everything away. <laughs> so I did start by cleaning out my drawer over here. I forgot to film me taking everything out, but I just took everything out and then wiped it down and then you'll see me put everything back in it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean off these counters and try to put everything away. I am going to be doing redoing my linen closet here pretty soon. I have the wire shelves in there that I absolutely hate. And so I'm going to have my hubby help me <clears throat> do a quick and simple fix to for, uh, transform those into wood shelves instead. And then I'm going to buy some storage stuff and be redoing my linen closet. So stay tuned because that video will be coming out soon. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notification on because you're not going to want to miss that. Um, and you're going to want your bell notification on because I'm not exactly posting at specific times or days right now. I'm just kind of posting when I can um, and when I have a video ready. It's just been a little bit easier with for me while I'm working from home. Things have been a little crazy and my schedule has been a little off. So my times and days have varied. So make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you get notified when I upload and you don't miss any of my videos. Make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me Nothing can break me And in my bathroom, I'm using the Lysol antibacterial spray. I actually shared this spray in my cleaning favorites videos not too long ago. I'll leave that link down below if you're interested in all my household cleaning favorites. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? Makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. My floor in my master bathroom gets so nasty because of my hair. I have really long, very thick hair that tends to fall out like most women's hair does. And when I was vacuuming up in here, there were just like clumps of my hair everywhere. It's really gross. And I vacuum in here at least once a week. So I don't understand how it gets so bad so quickly. Until winter comes, until winter comes. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Wonder. 
the last major area that I need to get cleaned up in this video today is going to be my bedroom. I'm going to be doing a little bit of reorganization over here with my kids' toys. It was just starting to look a little cluttered, and we had been storing to toys like on top of his kitchen, but he's gotten into a habit now where he climbs up on the chairs to try to get to the toys. So I'm going to be taking all the toys off of that and just storing them in different places so that we don't have that problem anymore. And just kind of decluttering. I went through his room recently and decluttered a bunch of toys in there and so I just want to do the same in here clutter it move some of these out of the way basically in this little area all I want left is just his kitchen and his little table which is pretty much all he plays it with in here anyways so And then not long after I completely cleaned this dresser off and redecorated it, like put everything where I wanted it and made sure it looked pretty, I ended up getting a Cricut machine. And since we didn't really have a good place to put it, I have now moved basically everything off of my dresser and my Cricut machine is now sitting on top of it. So all that it was literally like a couple hours later after I filmed this that we ended up getting that. So this looks completely different today than it did yesterday. Now, I absolutely hate this TV stand. I cannot wait to get rid of it and get something better in the future. I've mentioned it in a few videos before, but in case you are new here, don't ever buy anything with black glass on it. At least be aware if you do, because it collects so much dirt and hair and dust, and it just, everything like draws to this black glass, and it gets so nasty so quick. My dog hair is on that bottom shelf. It's just disgusting. It's so gross. Shut the lights go in front of me. We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. to wake up yet oh, we can spend all day in bed so here in a second you're gonna see me actually grab my vacuum and vacuum my bed my son had spilled a few crumbs on my bed but I had just changed the sheets yesterday so I didn't want to change them again already so I just went ahead and grabbed a vacuum and gra uh, vacuumed up those crumbs real quick and it worked so <laughs> if you ever need to get some crumbs off your bed real fast, it's a quick and easy way to do that. We can spend all day in bed. going ahead and spraying the Caldrea linen spray or I think it's called linen spray or fabric spray or something like that room spray all over my bed this is in the tangelo scent I think um, and I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite products but it is a little pricey so I only use it like when I'm really like cleaning or making my bed or something like that which I don't make my bed very often if you're not new to my if you are new to my channel then you may not know that but if you are an oldie subscriber then you will know I very rarely make my bed because Honestly, I just don't have the time or the energy for it, and I don't always know understand the purpose. Like for me, it just isn't as something that's necessary. I know for a lot of people, it makes them feel good um, to have their bed made, and it does always feel nice to have it made. But for me, it's just not something that's necessary, so I don't do it all the time. But it did feel nice to have it all nice and made, and have the spray all over it today. So that is it, you guys. I finished up with some vacuuming there. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. And here is another video that you should check out if you are needing some more cleaning motivation. Bye, y'all.